Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the flip side. And for those of you who don't know, I've been working on making a mod for SCP Containment Breach. Uh, it's barely even started, and I'm just beginning work on it. But the working title for it so far is SCP XK Class. And I'm just testing out a few things just to make sure, you know, this works, that works, let's see what I can do, what can't I do. And I've been replacing, and I've been trying to replace some textures. And I wanted to show you my work with SCP-895. As you can see here, we have Nightmare Freddy. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I turned it off. Oh, whoa, lag. Oh, lag. Why the lag? Okay, save and quit. I'm gonna have to turn on God Mode, too. I've been just using this test file. By the way, who else is excited for the Splatoon demo tonight? I'm gonna be playing that. Too bad it's Pacific time because that's gonna be like 11 to midnight for me. Thank God it's a Friday. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm using the Box of Horrors mod as a instead of the uh, normal game because I don't want to mess up my normal game because it has all my good saves in it, it's including my all achievements run. So yeah. And the frame rate is worse. Wonderful. Guess I'm gonna have to deal with it. Oh well. Oh, I'm dead. I forgot to hit turn on God mode. That's the kind of genius I am. Trying to reprogram SCP Contain Breach doesn't know how to turn on God mode. Um, can I die? Thank you. I hate you, Box of Horrors. That's the one problem with this mod. Oh, well, maybe that's actually gonna fix the lag problem, hopefully. <laughs> I forgot that I, uh, oh, stupid work. Thank you. I forgot, uh, that April Fool's video I made, I started. Oh, there. What? Why do you minimize? I started off testing it on Box of Horrors before I ported it to Containment Breach. So, yeah, it's here too. It's spreading. Okay, God Mode first. I don't know why my heart was permanently... Eh, probably just me being an idiot. I know how the game works. I, I swear it. <laughs> yes, yes, we all know what 079 is. By all means, take your time. Thank you. And the frame rate is just as bad. I don't even know why, nor do I care. Okay, God mode on. Probably because I'm recording, and it's box of horrors. So, look, potatoes. Charizard, Mega Charizard X. Potatoes. Cave Johnson's Combustible Lemons. Trademark. I also put in three other pictures. But t come on, show the other three. Those look like the best ones. All it's showing are Mega Charizard X. Oh, it just showed the other one. Uh, maybe I can. Hey, look, no, look away from it. Ah, uh, lag. You know, turn the damn thing off. So we have Gabe Johnson's original combustible lemons. And there were three other pictures too. Uh, on? Okay, thank you. Come on, show the other three pictures. Oh, there's one. Oh, crap. Show another one. Potatoes, yes, we've seen. Here, the Guess Who from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And look, we even have this new teaser up from Five Nights at Freddy's 4, for those of you who were unaware. Oops, wrong button. Scott did that, which is, looks like Nightmare Bonnie, I guess. 10:31:15. So now that picture is in SCP Containment Breach. So I did the Guess Who from 
Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I did the, I mean, the Balloon Boys Guess Who from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. There was, uh, this one from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And there was one more. Come on, show it, game. Oh, here it is. It's the, uh, the original Nightmare Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So, apparently, what I've learned from this one is that the game actually checks to see if six specific pictures are there. They have to be in a certain folder called 895 picks, and they have to be labeled pick 1, pick 2, pick 3, pick 4, pick 5, pick 6. I don't know. It probably does. Well, the thing is, though, I think it only checks for those six, because when I just attempted to use two pictures, it, set, it gave me an error saying picks 3 missing, meaning that it actually looks for these six particular ones instead of just using whatever's in the folder. So I actually had to end up replacing those files as opposed to just uh, throwing in some new ones or getting rid of the old ones and I had to rename them picks one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I don't think it would register a seven. And it, it needs to be six labeled that and in the folder eight nine five picks, which is let me check. Uh do, 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 do. Here it is. So, it has to, in the folder GFX, 895 picks, it has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, labeled picks 1 to 6. Yeah, it rhymes. But it won't take anything more than that. It doesn't do, it just ignores if there's a 7. And it needs to be these 6 with these exact names. Or else it won't work. So that's what I've learned today. But, yeah. It looks like this first test was a success. So, Mega Charizard X, say goodbye. See you on the flip side. And yes, this is the like, fifth Pokemon that can talk. Like what we had. Uh, Celebi, could he? I think in that movie. Uh, Mewtwo could. There was, obviously there's Meowth. Uh, Lucario could t use telepathy. And so could... Did Deontay use telepathy? I think so. Yeah. In the movie, at least. Anyways, enough rambling. I'll see you on the flip side. This test was a success.